Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be continuing our Leak Code 75 series. Uh, so today we are on the problem, the, the last problem of the two pointers um, section, and this is going to be called max number of k sum pairs ranked as medium difficulty. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So for our instructions, it says you are given an integer array nums and an integer k. In one operation, you can pick two numbers from the array whose sum equals k and remove them from the array. Return the maximum number of operations you can perform on the array. Okay, so uh, basically what this is asking is we're going to uh, return the amount of times that we can take out a pair of numbers whose sum equals the k input parameter. So um, basically, I think that the best approach for this would be to first sort the array in place, um, and we can use a Java built-in method to do so. And then after that, we're going to want to set up a while loop, or we're going to want to set up two pointers first, and then a while loop, and then we go from left to right, and then we uh, basically uh, will just iterate through um, and then see if each of those pointers adds up to the sum. And then if not, since the array is sorted, we can um, adjust the, the pointers accordingly. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the, uh, with the implementation. So uh, the first, first thing we can do, as I already mentioned, is sort the array. So this is pretty simple. All you have to do is arrays.sort, and then you pass in nums. And this just this sorts it uh, in place. And it takes uh, log of log of n for the time complexity, so it's still pretty quick. Um, and then we're going to want to set up uh, a count integer, uh, and then our two pointers. So uh, the count integer is what we're going to be returning. So we'll set that to zero, um, and then we want to do a left and a right for our two pointers. So we can declare this all in one line just using commas. And then as seen in my previous videos with the two pointers approach, typically our left is going to be zero uh, since it's a zero index array. And then the right is going to be uh, the last uh, index in the array. So since it's zero index, we have to subtract one. Okay. And then now we want to set up our while loop. So while left is less than right. Okay. And then now first, what we want to do is check if the sum of nums left plus nums right is equal to k. If it is, then of course we want to uh, we want to add one to our count, um, and then we want to move up our left, and then move down our right. So it's kind of like if you visualize it, we're kind of slowly shrinking the array, right? Because we can't use those two again since we're basically eliminating them and then increasing the count. Okay, and if they don't add up, then we need to see if one is if if one is if the sum is less than k. Because if it's less less than k, then we increment left up because that means because it's sorted from the 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 smallest to the largest. So if we if we increment left up, then we're going to get a larger sum. So um, we're just going to use an else if statement, else if nums left plus nums right is less than k, then we want to increment our left, and then if not, we want to decrement, decrement, decrement our right. Okay, and then that should be good for our while loop, and then we can just re go ahead and return the count. So let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, as you can see, it works as expected. So let's go ahead and submit this, make sure we pass all test cases. Yes, we did. It's a pretty fast solution. As you can see, it beats 95% of the already existing solutions. So I do want to uh, give kind of like a disclaimer that there is a faster solution. So for the time complexity for this particular two pointers approach is uh, 
big O of log uh, n log or n times log of n, my bad. Um, and the reason that it's n times log of n is because we use the in place sorting method, which takes log of n time complexity. Um, if we didn't use that, then the approach would just take, uh, would just be big, big O of uh, n. But um, obviously we can't do that because the whole approach depends on it, on the array being sorted in order. Um, however, there is an approach, a different approach that you can do uh, using uh, a hash map and then kind of finding the complement of the particular number at the index. However, that doesn't use the two pointers approach. And since this problem is under the two pointers category, I thought it would be appropriate to use the two pointers approach in solving this problem. If you were to get this particular interview problem um, or this particular leak code problem at an interview, Yes, it might be better that you implement the faster approach, but do I think that you're going to get marked down for using this n times log of n approach? No, I don't think so because you're still demonstrating your knowledge of the two pointers technique. Um, and then for the space complexity, it's constant. Um, it's big O of one um, because we're not using any additional data structures uh, whose size scales with the with the input size. So. Uh, it's, you know, it's the minimum space complexity that that we can use for this particular approach. Um, so anyways, I, I made this problem in hopes that I can help you uh, kind of solidify your skills with the two pointers uh, technique uh, and that you'll be able to, you know, implement this during interviews with no problem. It's definitely something that you're going to want to practice. So if you found this helpful, please go ahead and like the video. Um, please subscribe to my channel uh, for more related content. I'm new and growing, so I could appreciate any of the support that I can get. If you have any comments uh, or if you have any suggestions, please go ahead and leave those in the comments. I'd be happy to hear from you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.